Wireless Pyrodynamic Detector ZBL P8000 are designed to test the integrity of concrete pile and identity the location and range of pile defects according to reflected wave transmission rules. The instrument consists of a host, Huawei tablet, hammers, and other accessories. Data Acquisition Circuit ICP Acceleration Sensor and Power Management Circuit, etc. are all enclosed into the dynamic detector host. The hexagonal metal part at the bottom of the host is ICP Acceleration Sensor. This red button is the power switch. Charging indicator is just above the power switch. It is red when charging and it turns green when host's electricity is full. Above the charging indicator is working indicator. If working indicator is red, it means the host is in low power condition. And if the working indicator is green, the host can work normally. And if the working indicator flash are red and green, it means the host is pairing with the pad. Open the protective cover, you can see the charging part. You'd better cover it when not in use so as to protect the host. Our specialized software is installed in the uh, pad with Android system, and the software can transfer, analyze, and store the test data received by the host. Hammer We use hammer to strike the top of pile to produce stress wave. We provide you several hammerheads of different weights and materials. The stress wave frequency caused by the striking of aluminum alloy hammer is pretty high, which is suitable to judge the shallow floor of a pile, while the stress wave frequency caused by the striking of nylon hammer is rather low, which is suitable to judge the pile's deep defects. Besides, you can purchase another force stick as striking device if the pile you test is too long and big. Instructions We should do some preparations before testing. Clean the pile head. The coupling point of the sensor and the striking point of the hammer must be clean, flat and hard. So, it is necessary to do something with the pile head before testing. Clean the floating cement and other sun dries on the pile head. Coupling agent should be seen but with great viscosity. And this viscosity should not be affected by water. We use butter here. Press power switch to start up the instrument. Turn down the pad and find the application uh, P800 wireless pyrodynamic detector on desktop and then click and open it. Click the Wi-Fi icon on the upper right corner can enter the network setting interface. Manually select the network to connect and input right password. After a successful connection, the Wi-Fi icon stopped flashing, a uh, battery level is displayed. Parameter settings. Uh, click Pile uh, Parameter button. You can set a project name, pile number, pile length, wave speed, pile shape, pile diameter, and pile type according to the project's real information. Click Sampling Parameter button. Sampling interval refers to the time interval between every two sampling signals. You can select one of the nine intervals. The value can be set or not, but the pile length 
and uh, our velocity must be set before sampling so that it will automatically calculate the sampling interval value. Sampling length refers to the quantity of uh, signal sampling points and you have two choices, 1024 and uh, 2048. Generally, 1024 can meet your requirements. Blow number refers to the total number waveform that every channel to select. There are multi options, minimum is 1, maximum is 12. Again, refers to the amplification factor of signal which is received by sensor. Uh, generally, gain value should be adjusted according to pile length, condition for pile head service, and striking uh, equipment, hammer, etc. When the signal is weak, you can turn up the gain value. When the signal is strong, you'd better turn down the gain value. Trig level refers to the signal level collected when starting the instrument. There are three levels, low, medium, and high. The higher trig level is, the stronger the signal is required. Generally, you'd better choose low level when the gain value is less than 8 and you'd better choose medium or high level when the gain value is more than 8. Sampling method There are two methods, single collection and continuous collection. Single collection means according to the parameter setting, only one waveform can be collected once. Continuous collection means according to the same parameter set, Continuous multiple waveform can be collected until the acquisition be star. Overlap. You can choose a number between 1 and 6. If the number is bigger than 1, it is an overlapping sample. Which means all the samples collected in the same channel will be added together and then average. Acceptance mode. Three modes are accepted. Automatic, Menu, and All. In automatic mode, if the strike is too heavy or light, uh, the dynamic detector will automatically abandon the signal while you show corresponding message. Only when the precaution is moderate will the collected signal to be a useful one. In Menu mode, if the strike is too heavy or light, dynamic detector will give appropriate message and ask whether to return the signal or not. When the all mode be selected, if the strike is too heavy or light, dynamic detector will be given the corresponding message and keep the signal. Equipment parameter shows the basic information of the instrument. Click display parameter and it switches to display parameter interface. Width refers to the width of a signal channel waveform. The bigger the pan width is, the wider the waveform is, with the default as 1. X axis can be length or time and generally we choose length. Screen refers to the amount of waveform display in every screen. Options are 1, 2, 3 or 4. The number in every panel cannot be bigger than the sampling number. A set restore default parameter, you can choose to recover some parameters. You can set the information of operator from operator interface. After setting all parameters, return to the sampling interface. Pile test. You can choose 1 to 4 testing points according to how big the pile is. Defects or cracks are not allowed at the installation points of the sensor or somewhere near it. When the hammering point is at the center of the pile head, the distance between the installation point of the sensor and the center 
of the pile shall be two thirds of the pile radius. When the hammering point is not at the center of the pile head, the distance between the installation point of the sensor and the striking point shall be more than a half of the radius. Take a 1 meter diameter pile as an example. We choose three testing points and locate the hammering point at the center of the pile. Sensor and the testing point should be completely strapped together by butter or petrol litter, and ensure the sensor is vertical to the top of the pile. Click a sample button. Place the sensor at the first testing point and strike the center of the pile three times with the hammer. Click stop button. Then place the sensor at the second testing point. And strike the center of the pile three times with the hammer. Click stop button. At last, place the sensor at the third testing point and strike the center of the pile three times with the hammer again. Click stop button. After you have finished the sampling work, click save button.、Uh, the default name is the pile name set before the test. And you can save directly if you don't need to change it. Then we finish the test of the pile. If you need to continue to test other piles, click the button New Piles in the Pile Information area on the right side. Then you can continue to detect next pile. After you have tested all the piles. Data can be transferred to your computer for analysis and report generation. Click the file button and select FTP upload. Enter username and password and click start button. IP address of data accessed by PC will be generated. Input such IP address in the computer address bar according to below suggested address. A dialog box will pop up, asking you to enter the same username and password. Then you can find out all data files, select the data files, and copy them into PC. Data analysis. Click and open analytics software of testing pile by reflected width. Click file button and find the file you want to analyze and open it. The middle part of the software interface is with diagram area. Pile list of this project lines on the left side of with diagram area. Pile information area and waveform processing area line above with diagram area. You can further improve or modify the pile's information in pile information area on the left side. Look at waveform processing area on the right side. You should choose integral, as we use ICP acceleration sensor. Wavelet factor can optimize the signal through wavelet analysis method, and the bigger the wavelet factor is. The smoother the signal diagram is. Generally, wavelet factor should be set between one and three. But you can set a bigger wavelet factor if the pile you detect is pretty long. If the wavelet factor you set is too big, some useful signals will be filtered out, causing misjudgment. Smoothing points refers to how smooth the signal diagram is. The bigger the smoothing points is, the smoother the signal diagram is. Smoothing points range between 3 and 512, and generally it is set at 10. Amplification type: You have three kinds of choice: exponent, linear, and full scale. Usually, we select exponent. Its characteristic is the signal will be magnified on exponent. As for amplification factor, you can choose according to your need. Amplification from means the starting place to magnify. Filtering mode has four types: all pass, low pass, high pass, and band pass. 
Lopez can filter out the signals higher than a certain cutoff frequency. High pass can filter out the signals lower than a certain cutoff frequency. Band pass can filter out the signals higher than a certain cutoff frequency and at the same time lower than a certain cutoff frequency. Usually, we choose low pass more. Waveform rotation. Sometimes, after the integral processing of the signal, the end of waveform will be upturned. Then the waveform needs to rotate, making the end back to the position of the baseline. The percentage of the rotation is relative to the amplitude of direct wave. Positive number indicate clockwise rotation, while negative number indicate counterclockwise rotation. Default means a uh, user set all parameters as the recent one. Parameter recovery means user set the parameters value as the default one. Tension and compression ratio means users can compress and stretch the waveform. Now we will analyze several typical waveforms. Good pile waveform. As the waveform from a good pile, wave crease will appear separately at pile head and pile toe. And if pile body hasn't defects, the waveform diagram between the pile head and pile toe will be a straight line. Double clicking on the waveform area stretches the waveform vertically. Expanded pile waveform. This is a 45 meter pile, and the first wave crest is the pile head, and you can find another wave crest at a pile toe, but a significant wave trough appears at about 5 meters. This is a typical waveform of expanded pile. Reduce the pile waveform. Except for the wave crest at pile head and pile toe, another wave crest appears caused by secondary reflection of a reduced pile. This is the typical reduced pile waveform. Broken pile waveform. In this waveform, the first wave crest is pile head. This pile is 10 meters, so the pile toe wave crest is supposed to appear at 10 meters, but it doesn't. You can see a wave crest appears at about 3.5 meters, and you can also find other wave crests every 3.5 meters. This is the typical waveform characteristic of a broken pile. Create a report. When you create a report, choose the IT files on the pile list area, click Tools button on the menu bar, click Export Word File button, and then create a report and open it. Now, the instructions of wireless pyrodynamic detector ZBL P8000 has ended. Thanks for your watching.